Hey, good morning everybody. We're back in the paint booth. I know I've been spending a lot of time in the paint booth lately, but we've got to get uh, got to get things done before the cool weather moves in. Okay, the first thing I'm doing when I come in this morning is mix up our epoxy primer. We've got black epoxy, epoxy activator. It's a one-to-one -one mix. Stir that up. And we're going to check the time. We're going to let that induce for a minimum of 30 minutes. Uh, you can leave it there for 30 minutes up to about four hours and you can spray it any time in between. Uh, I like to let it go a minimum of 30 minutes. We're going to lay a few coats down. Uh, but I mix this first because while I'm vacuuming the sand out and blowing the sand out and cleaning parts and stuff, uh, we're not wasting any time. So that's going to sit there. I'm going to put a little bit of reducer in there. Oh, probably anywhere between 10 and 25 percent. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in there, but uh, we're going to put a little bit of reducer in there. Uh, it'll dry much faster with the reducer. Uh, you can play around with this stuff and, and uh, varying degrees of reducer. But uh, once you start using it, you'll get the hang of it. So uh, after a half hour, we'll add the reducer and then add it to the gun. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to go vacuum out the sand, clean everything, and uh, I'll be back with you when we're spraying. Okay guys, we got everything in black epoxy and to do everything you see in here, the frame, the axles and all the associated parts, it took three quarts of epoxy primer and we've got two coats on the axles and all the associated parts and we've got three coats on the frame, spray coat wait 30 minutes, spray another coat, wait 30 minutes, and then the third coat. So the frame has some pitting, but nothing too bad. And uh, I recently got a few questions about guys wondering if they should powder coat or paint their frame. I don't like powder coating on a frame. Um, there's nothing underneath it, and if you get a tiny scratch in it, uh, you know, it peels off like a sheet. Um, powder coating came out basically it was like a government thing and and they wanted less VOCs from companies that paint things and they came out with this powder and you bake it and seems like anything that the government wants you to do doesn't work out real good kinda like modern gas cans I think you guys know what I mean about a modern gas can with no vent in it you spill more gas then you sometimes get in things. Same thing with powder coating. In theory it's a good idea. I would never use powder coating and if I did it would only be on stuff that's inside or indoors um, that never see the weather. Uh, it just doesn't hold up. You see what happens to snow plows. Um, 
you know, it peels right off. Uh, it's just not good for a frame, and that's my opinion. If you're always going to have your your vehicle in a garage and just take it to shows, maybe that's okay. If you're going to drive it and use it, uh, this is the method I like to use: sandblast down to clean white metal, uh, epoxy primer, and then a single stage urethane top coat. And we're going to give this 24 hours to dry. Uh, I've got some other things to do today, but we'll give this 24 hours. And, well, actually more than that. we got a busy weekend processing chickens, and we got probably three, four weekends of processing chickens. So it's Friday today, so we'll probably come back on this uh, Monday. So I'll have plenty of time to get nice and hard. I don't like to rush things. Uh, let, let your solvents evaporate. Let everything dry. And we'll hit this on Monday, and I will show you the um, uh, single-stage urethane black going down. And it will make quite a difference from what it looks like right now. It'll be glossy and shiny, and it'll look real good on this frame. So, uh, just a short one today. Just wanted to answer a few comments about should I powder coat or not. Um, I would never do it, but it's entirely up to everybody else what they do. So... We're just going to end this one here and probably catch you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. See you soon.